Hi, Chef Joe Crockett with Healthy Kids Inc. and today we're going to be making a crunchy garlic chicken with herb roasted potatoes and a garlic string bean that we're steaming. You could do them in a pot of boiling salted water also, so either way you want to uh, cook your beans is fine. So we've got a breading station set up over here. We've got um, three eggs, um, whole, uh, three whole eggs and one egg white. We have uh, just a little bit of seasoned flour and then we have a bit of our crunchy coating uh, and instead of just using like a breadcrumb or you know a prepared breading what we've done is crushed up crackers. Um, it's super easy, it gives it a nice coating. Uh, whole wheat crackers or unsalted crackers are best um, if you can find those. Um, but really you could use any type of cracker you wanted if you wanted to use uh, goldfish or a cheese cracker or, or something like that. As long as it's in the, in the healthy uh, realm you're going to uh, really be satisfied with the result. We've also got a little bit of lemon zest, some salt, some pepper, um, and some chopped parsley, and a little bit of chopped garlic in there as well. We're using beautiful organic chicken breasts. Um, so the next step is to bread them up. All right, so we've got our breading station here. Like I said before, we also have our pan that we've put a little bit of oil on and just kind of rubbed it in with a paper towel. Uh, and to simplify the recipe, we're actually going to do our potatoes and our chicken on the same baking sheet. So the potatoes have um, rosemary, they have garlic, but we just took the cloves and crushed them up, or you could chop them up if you wanted to. Uh, there's some uh, thyme, some salt, some pepper, some lemon juice, um, and we just kind of tossed it all together. We cut the potatoes down. Um, you could use a mix of uh, baby reds and baby yellow potatoes if you wanted. Um, you could parboil them. Um, which just means to partially boil them, boil them before we roast them, but I find with these small potatoes you don't normally need to. So our oven's preheated to 475. I'm going to spread these out on one side of our baking dish. And we can go ahead and begin breading our chicken. I'm going to dip it into the egg mixture. Now I've also found in previous experience with this recipe that it works best if you have a thin uh, chicken breast. It'll cook quicker. Um, if time's not an issue, then a thicker breast won't uh, won't hurt at all. But I try to pound mine out just slightly beforehand. Dip it in the flour. Quick dredge. And then I always go back into my egg to allow our coating to stick. Pat that down. Now you can also score the chicken breasts a little bit. If they're a little bit bigger, I, I like to do that. Uh, I always score the underside, but these aren't too huge, so we, don't, we can forego that step. Just kind of pat it on. Now another thing is you want to give it just a little bit of a shake to kind of shake off the excess breading. And then lay it on your baking sheet. And we'll do the next one. And into flour. into the egg. And into your cracker crumbs. This is a great alternative to a fried chicken, which you can brown this in the pan if you want. I just want to watch the amount of oil that you use to fry these up. But to make this just a little bit healthier, we're going to put these in the oven. So either way is fine. Whatever works best for you and your family. Okay. And as you can see, my fingers are caked. So always keep one hand free when doing this, or you can use tongs. But I like to get in there with my hands. All right. Place that on the baking sheet. Give my hands a quick rinse. I'm going to drizzle these with a little bit of oil on top to help them brown. And we're going to pop these into the oven. Just 
uh, for about 15 to 20 minutes for the potatoes and until the chicken is cooked through, which in this case might be right about the same time. So you just want to watch them close, especially since you're doing them in the same pan. You can use your thermometer to check the chicken. Uh, and we'll come back in just a few minutes and see what we've got. All right, we've pulled our chicken out of the oven. It's nice and golden brown, as you can see. Our potatoes are tender. We didn't overcook them, so there's still a little bit of toothsome quality to them. Our chicken has reached the proper internal temperature, so we're going to let it set here and rest for maybe five minutes, and then we'll plate it up and show you the finished product.